Hello class, Professor Haley here coming to you. Uh, filming from a hotel room today in Kansas, so forgive me for the background. But what I want to talk to you today is about discussion board question uh, that says, should communities with concealed carry permits have lower rates of robbery with the potential of the victim being armed be enough to deter would-be offenders, especially in situations of highway robbery? Well, once again, this question, I'm not trying to get you to believe one way or the other. I'm not trying to get you to think this way or that way. Uh, if you go look at the research and the data, it's scattered. It's all over the place. Um, I'll tell you, I read just three studies says, uh, study says concealed carry permits don't affect crime. Another one, Chicago crime rates drop as concealed carry uh, gun permit applications surge. Another one says murder rates drop as concealed carry permits soar. So you can go over and over and over again and find research and data that support your side of the argument. I know there's a lot of individuals out there that are pro-gun and anti-gun, okay? I'm not trying to get you a side on each side. Um, I will tell you this, I always side with the side of the Constitution because the Constitution is much bigger than I am, it's much bigger than my feelings, and it should be regarded in a higher um, uh, regard, all right, in my opinion. Now, if you look at what the Constitution's Second Amendment says, it says uh, it gives us the right to bear arms, okay? Now, what the founding fathers said when they wrote that I thought was very important. You know, Thomas Jefferson uh, said, no free man shall ever be to bar the right to bear arms. You know, there was a quote I read actually this morning from Benjamin Franklin. It blew my mind. Um, he said, uh, they that can give up essential liberty to obtain a little temporary safety deserve neither liberty nor safety. I thought that was pretty powerful um, because, you know, there are individuals that are going to be responsible with uh, their weapons. Um, I don't know of any individuals uh, personally that I've seen in research or study that says that the guys that are out getting the licenses and the guys that are out, you know, getting the uh, concealed weapon permits that they are the ones going out and doing the uh, massive shootings. Maybe you can find something differently, but what I'm seeing in the research is that it's the criminals that are going to go out and not abide by the laws, whether you make the guns legal or illegal, whether you say they can carry them um, hidden, you know, from view or concealed or not. So once again, it comes down to the individual. When you're dealing with complex human beings, complex individuals, it's really hard to make blanketed statements. So the research is all over the place. So just go ahead and state your opinion. Please, as always, I know you guys do a great job. Be respectful of one another's opinion, okay? That's the only thing I ask. I'm really proud of you guys. Let's answer the question, respond it to others, and uh, hopefully we'll get a little tidbit that we didn't know and uh, learn and expand our horizons. Thank you so much. Have a great day.